Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be creating a set of nails inspired by the chocolate collection from Makeup Revolution. It's like the nude with the metallic pink drips. So I'm starting off with infilling my nails. I'm using my sanding band and my drill on the speed number of three. I am sanitizing dehydrating and prepping those nail beds ready for acrylic application. I'm now going in with Ultra Bond from CJP and the colour I am going in with is Oh Dolly which is a beautiful pink colour. So I'll be infilling my nails and then once they're all infilled I will go ahead and reshape, um, refile, refine and all of that making them look all neat and then once they're looking all neat I will then go ahead and apply my gel colour. Now using my CJP Tornado file, I am going in and refining those nails. Now to even out and debulk the acrylic, I'm going in with my medium safety bit from CJP. I have my Vodex dust and fume extractor turned on in the video. I don't know if you've noticed, but you can see all that dust is getting collected. It is literally the best. So this is the best way to maintain your handpiece of your drill is to make sure you've got a dust cap on like that one and to make sure that you are removing most of the dust 
from the handpiece once you've finished using it and of course a really good quality dust extractor helps too so here i am going in with my dusty drill bit this bit is from willow academy it is excellent for removing all the dust from your cuticles So I've just removed all the dust and I have sprayed my nails using sanitized AF spray from the gel bottle. It is really, really beautiful. It smells like a fresh summer body spray. It's a beautiful papaya scent. Now I am going in with cappuccino from Premier Gel. This is actually one of my favorite nude gels I own. Now that I've gone ahead and applied two coats of cappuccino and cured each coat for 60 seconds, I am going ahead and applying my matte top coat. Once I've applied my matte top coat, I have wiped down my nails with pure acetone. This gets rid of any sticky residue, especially because we're going to be working with chrome dust. I am now going in with Premier Gel's black gel polish. This is literally one coat. Just look at how pigmented it is. I love it as well because it's so easy to draw with, to work with. They're just excellent polishes. So I'm going in with black from Premier Gel. I am creating a drippy effect. Then I will be going ahead and curing those nails for 60 seconds. Now that the drips are all cured, you want to now go in with a high shine non white top coat and a very fine brush, just making sure you're only going over the drips. You want to then go in and cure for 30 seconds. The reason why you want to give it less time is because the less time you give the top coat, um, the more it's going to help the chrome stick onto it. I am now going in with the metallic purpley pink chrome pigment from Magpie Beauty in Madonna. I will be rubbing this colour only into the black drips. Once I have done that, I will dust off any excess. Then I will go ahead and top coat the pink drips with my fine brush. Once I have done that, I will then go ahead and cure the nails for 120 seconds. The good thing about these chrome dusts is such a little goes such a long way too. So all you need to do is just empty just a tiny amount into your lid and it literally goes such a long way.
I don't know about you, but I find this bit super satisfying. So that's the end of my video and here are the Makeup Revolution inspired nails I created from their chocolate collection. I hope you all enjoyed watching and I hope it was helpful. Thank you all so, so much and I will see you all in my next video.